September is my favorite month. It's the month when we come back to school. It's the month when my birthday is. It's football season. There's a chill in the air. So for me, the idea of an eternal September sounds fantastic. But to the early denizens of the internet, eternal September was the one thing that they dreaded. So it's a little bit of internet history. In the early days of the internet, people came online when they came to college. Many people who were connected to the internet founded it, their university, and people that were getting online at home didn't have access to certain parts of the internet. And one of those parts of the internet was something called Usenet. Usenet is a set of bulletin boards and forums where people discussed various topics. And Usenet, like any other small community, had its own standards of etiquette, had its own rules, had its own guidelines for how to talk to each other and how to post and things like this. And so every September, when a new group of freshmen would arrive at college, they would arrive on the Usenet forums for the first time. And the existing members of the Usenet community would have to tolerate these people for a period of time until either they got bored with Usenet, ran away, or they learned the Usenet norms and they became, you know, good upstanding members of the Usenet community. And this went on for a number of years until 1993, when AOL, for the first time, AOL was providing internet access to a lot of people at home, for the first time AOL made it possible for their members to use Usenet forums. And that is when the eternal September began. And that was the nickname that some Usenet denizens gave to this period of time where suddenly Usenet forums were filled with new people all the time. These people that didn't follow their rules, didn't understand how to use Usenet, didn't understand what was interesting about it, didn't understand how to post and how to discuss things in the ways that they were used to. So I think this is a fun story about the early origins of the internet and sort of what's happened to some of the standards online as we brought more and more people into the internet community. Usenet is still around. Uh, it's still an interesting place. There's still many people who enjoy using Usenet and participating in those forums. Obviously, the idea of talking about things online has become more common, and now you can comment on news articles, you can write blog posts, you can comment on this video. Um, but you know, the, the idea is that as we brought people more, on, more people online, we've had to struggle with this idea of how do we establish norms on the internet. Um, and so despite the fact that I love the idea of the eternal September, it goes down in internet history as a very negative uh, thing for people who are on Usenet.